Mr. Ilagan. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, <clears throat> as I thought about this, I, I did discuss it with the USDA because I agree with Council Member Yoshimoto's um, stand where it is a federal issue and Thank you, Council Member Willie, for bringing it up to the county level. And I also agree with Council Member Poindexter that it, we should have a choice. It's life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. We need that liberty. We need to be able <clears throat> to see what we're eating and to... Um, so what I'm trying to get to is one of my biggest concerns about GMO is the seed termination, where um, Monsanto has it to where you can plant a seed and produce a fruit, and then the plant dies. And what my biggest concern is, not only does that endanger our whole livelihood, where if it I'm not a scientist, and I do not know how cross-pollination works. I know it's very complicated. And it's not, I'm not saying that we might not be able to control it, but the fact that we use that and there's a seed where it can die after it produces, that worries me because the fact that if it spreads and only, let's say, um, apples, it's all. my biggest concern is the seed termination. And also, I do want to mention that we have GM papayas. In um, Kapoho, 90% of agriculture is the papaya industry. And I want to I want to state the fact that. Um, in the U.S., we did deregulate papaya, GM, GM papayas, and then it got deregulated in Canada. And in 2012, Japan finally accepted GM papayas. I'm here to fight for GM papayas because the fact that even Japan accepted it, and they are a culture of anti-GMO, I am a strong advocate for helping the farmers in my community, but I am worried about the seed termination and GMO. I just wanted to voice that out, but I do want to advocate for labeling. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lagan.